All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to talk about some wrestling. Uh, the latest wrestling news we have here today here, so let's get into it. So, uh, first two things here I want to talk about with Nick Collin. So, first thing I want to talk about from uh, SB, SBJ's World Congress of Sports at uh, Arash Mar Markazi on uh, Twitter. Um, so, first one, SBJ's World Congress of Sports. Uh, Nick Collin. Uh, states that some big pay-per-views such as the Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, SummerSlam, Survivor Series, that, be, those big pay-per-views will take place in the United States and Canada for the foreseeable future. So, at least for the foreseeable future, the events like r the Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, SummerSlam, Survivor Series will either be in the U.S. or Canada. I wonder how long the foreseeable future is to them. The more they continue to expand internationally, I'm sure these countries can will get some of these events probably within the next maybe two three years, maybe longer. But I, I imagine all the overseas over all the overseas premium live events this year are a test run. It's clearly been a massive success outside the U.S. so far, and I could definitely see this maybe be in the next two three years. There'll be more events like over the world. And I'm guessing we'll probably see one-fourth being hosted outside of North America every year in a few years. There's already been speculation about a UK Royal Rumble. Hopefully one day we'll get WrestleMania in London. But the time difference, I mean, maybe the time differences could be an issue. But I, honestly, I feel like the Royal Rumble in the UK would work. I mean, I'd want in the UK... But it's kind of understandable. Save their biggest shows on, of the year on their home turf. But a SummerSlam at Wembley or a Rumble in London would hit so hard the crowd reactions would cause a damn earthquake. London was the best crowd followed closely by Puerto Rico. I like that they're traveling aboard, but I think the a UK would smash. But I think the UK would smash a premium live event. But we'll see. We'll see. Next thing, uh, Nick Khan uh, states that Las Vegas is one of the cities being considered. For WrestleMania 41, um, I bet per uh, SBJ's World Congress of Sports, and this uh, I guess was a I guess a talk to Nick Collin. Minnesota right now is probably like, oh my god. That's why Minnesota hasn't been announced as location. I feel like they're still bidding. Vegas would make sense with their new stadium they have and a and potential Rock Roman match next year. But, but I mean. Right. Well, Minnesota's had that stadium since 2016. It's still fairly, fairly new, so why not? So why not? So why not? They had to wait this long just to, for Vegas to get it. Like, and it'd be a Midwest WrestleMania, which we haven't had in a while. But they should just go to Minnesota. Like Minnesota's a badass stadium. Will they do it? I don't know. There's a chance if it's Rock Roman, they could maybe try and bid for Vegas, but I think they should do Minnesota. Because they, I mean, but you never know, You could, but this may be their last chance really to get Rock and Roman fa a face-off, so, but who knows. We'll see what they do, but I still think Minnesota will be the WrestleMania 41 location. So in an interview with Going Ringside, I thought this was funny from Grayson Waller, being the internet troll uh, that he is. Talked about Jacksonville, Florida next month. Basically, while I was performing SmackDown Jacksonville, Florida next month in an interview with ring Going Ringside, he said, end quote, finally some good wrestling in Jacksonville. Felt like it's been years since we've seen some really good wrestling in Jacksonville. That's what we're bringing back. Basically throwing a shot at Tony Khan and AEW. Love to see it. And uh, Dax Harwood, of course, fell for the bait. Because, you know, Grayson Waller, he's an internet troll. He's the ultimate troll, dude. He's such a troll on social media. It's actually SmackDown next month. It'll sell way more tickets than an AEW Dynamite would at Jacksonville, Florida. Grayson Waller firing shots, and Tony Khan and AEW are probably looking for some for more footage to share. Top tier tr troll. Can't wait for uh, AEW to have a, a response tonight on Dynamite to Grayson Waller. Wouldn't be surprised because they. Respond to everything Daddy B says nowadays. But we'll see. But I thought that was funny. So a source here with uh, NBC News. Talked about the new current like new leadership. In um, WWE. So the current new leadership. 
and Adobe operates more conven conventionally, giving underperforming employees like a standard progress report, basically giving them a, a report of how they're progressing, and opportunities to improve before taking action. Now there's more le levity and freedom to make a mistake or suggest ideas. So even if you make a mistake, probably with the new like leadership with like Tony Khan or Tony Khan, Nick Khan, Triple H, you you can maybe make a mistake, but but unlike Vince McMahon, he probably wouldn't yell at he wouldn't Triple H wouldn't yell at you. Or you can suggest ideas that Vince wouldn't just freaking go, oh no, pal, it doesn't work for me. I think it's all about freedom. The morale is high because the new regime is willing to work with everyone to put on the best possible like product. Uh, Tommy! But I think it's another dub for the Triple H era. Vince McMahon would never do this. Well, now. Before he really got a touch. Yeah, he probably would. But now, I don't think he would. I don't think he would um, allow more like suggested ideas. So Seamus says he thought he'd have to retire for for good only a few months ago, but thankfully he's now clearing back on our screens. That's crazy. A few months ago he thought he would have had to retire for good, but thankfully he's now cleared. I think his neck injury's gone, and thankfully he's back on our screen. He looked amazing in the ring, even though I wouldn't say he's fat. I th I'd say he's uh, thick, like a thick boy. A beefy Seamus m makes more sense. Looks like he's just a perfect character. He can't retire until he wins the IC title. In recent interviews, recent interviews, Tony Khan and the Young Bucks have expressed zero regret in airing the CM Punk and Jack Perry altercation from AEW All In. Man, we got CM Punk and CF, CFFC, New Japan, AEW, WWE. CM Punk runs his damn industry. It's kind of weird they took it. They that they took it out from YouTube then, and then the footage and the took the footage down when people posted because they got pissed off all the backlash they got. And then why all those copyrights? Or stop other people from profiting. Well, don't show the damn footage. If you don't want people to fucking roast you. You need to regret only drawing 2,000 people for Indy today. Yeah, for Dynamite. 2,000 people in Indy. Speak when we don't give a shit about AEW. Just kidding, but like... Just stupid. How about you worry about selling arenas and stop worrying about footage from eight months ago? Uh, so, WWE's next pay-per-view to take place will be August 3rd in the United States, by the way, in the United States. Next pay-per-view. I know, as of now, is Backlash. So the next one in the United States is, I forgot what the next few pay-per-views are after Backlash. But I love they're doing so many international shows. But the next one in the U.S. will be SummerSlam. So, we have some stuff to talk about with uh, Rhea Ripley. So, her recovery time will be depend on whether she requires surgery as well as physical therapy. And she injured uh, the, the AC joint. Like, it's where your collarbone and right shoulder connect. Apparently, uh, it was during the segment uh, or backstage uh, brawl where she got thrown into a wall. Like a solid wall and it hurt her AC joint. I hope she has a speedy recovery. It sucks. I hope she, if she has to get surgery, she'll be out for uh, a little bit. If she does have surgery... I don't know if it'll be longer. If she gets surgery, she'll probably be out until Bash in Berlin. If it's surgery, it'd be like six months. And the injury occur occur occurred, what I just talked about per PW Insider. Uh, she was sent into a wall by Liv Morgan during last week's Raw, injuring the right AC joint, where you know where the collarbone, the right shoulders connected, the chair shot, and the brawl had no bearing on the injury. This was just simply a freak accident. Um... I mean, it's just freak accidents. Um, hopefully, she comes back. Hopefully, she comes back fully healthy. I honestly thought it was a risk because she had that brace on it. But I think it's just just a freak freak accident where she got thrown into the wall. But 
they're, they're, they can tell a, a good story with this. They're gonna tell us some good stories when she comes back. It's gonna be a good feed when Rhea comes back from injury. Uh, the Philadelphia uh, Convention and Visitors Bureau will start conversations uh, with the WWE in the quote not too distant future about bringing WrestleMania back to the city. If they bring WrestleMania back to Philly, they need to have the weather be better. The talent said they were freezing. And you tell the crowd night one was freezing. They weren't as engaged as night two. Night two, they were fully engaged. And I'm not acting like they can control the weather. It's just... Maybe that it's that time of the year it could get cold. But may they can't control the weather, though. That's just part of it. They can't control the weather. But yeah, it's all the wrestling uh, news I want to talk about here, so until next time I'm out, peace.